Hello, in this video tutorial we're going to be covering how to install Windows Server 2012. If you're familiar with the Windows 2008 installation process, the Windows Server 2012 installation process is virtually identical. For most installations you'll just click next on this screen. However, you do have the chance to change the language, timing currency, or keyboard or input method. Go ahead and make your selection then click next. For a clean installation of Windows Server 2012, click the Install Now button. However, if you already have Server 2012 installed and you need to repair that installation, click on Repair Your Computer. For this demonstration, we'll just go ahead and click Install Now. Setup will begin. The installation process is easier than ever, and Windows Server 2012 has reduced the number of editions. At this point, all you have to do is select either from Standard or Data Center core or with GUI. The best thing about Server 2012, in my opinion, is that the Standard and Data Center Edition provide the exact same roles and features. The only difference between the two is the Hyper-V scenario. If you're going to be setting up a Hyper-V environment, then Data Center is definitely the way to go. Data Center provides an advantage with regard to licensing. When you purchase the Data Center license, it provides you with an unlimited amount of Windows Server 2012 licenses that you can install as VMs. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and click Server 2012 Standard with GUI. Go ahead and click Next. Accept the license terms. Click Next. If we had Server 2008 installed on this computer, we could go ahead and do an upgrade. However, I always prefer the clean install. For a clean install method, go ahead and click Custom. In this point in the setup process, Windows detects the hard drives that are available to the operating system. If your hard drive is not listed, you'll need to provide drivers. In this case, we have a hard drive of 100 gigabytes that are unallocated. If you just click the next button, Windows will go ahead and take that 100 gigabit drive, create one partition, and install Windows. By using the advanced functions, we have the ability to format the existing drive, delete it, extend it, create new partitions. We'll just go ahead and click Next. That's pretty much it as far as providing information to the Windows Setup Program. At this point, Windows will begin to copy the files that it needs, and it will get them ready for the installation. This process usually takes 20 or 40 minutes or so, depending on the hardware that you have. After this process has been completed, Windows will go ahead and restart itself, and will continue to the final portion of the setup. Okay, as you can see, your computer is now rebooting. And we have one last reboot, and we should almost be completed with the setup process. Okay, we've reached basically the final part of the installation process. At this point, we need to assign the administrator account a password. Windows Server 2012 requires a complex password. A complex password is made up of four different types of characters, uppercase, lowercase, special character, and number. You have to use three of these types of characters in your password. If you don't supply a complex password, Windows will go ahead and give you an error message. As you can see here, I typed in a non-complex password and Windows is indicating that I need to go ahead and provide a complex password. So let's go ahead and make a complex password here. And I'll type it in again. And I'll just click on this little icon here to show you what the password looks like. As you can see here, I used an uppercase, lowercase, number, and a special character. I used all four of the different types of characters. Windows should go ahead and accept this password. I'll click Finish. And the settings are being finalized. Okay, that's pretty much it for the setup program. We're now ready to go ahead and log into our computer. So hit Control Delete to sign in. And go ahead and provide the password. Since this is the first time that I've logged into this machine, Windows has to go ahead and prepare my desktop settings. 
For Server 2012, Server Manager is going to be the administrative console that you'll be using for 99% of the configuration of Server. Server Manager allows us to add additional roles and features and other different configuration options. In some of the upcoming tutorials in this series, we'll go ahead and look at some of the additional roles and features that you'll be installing in Server 2012. Well, that's the end of this tutorial on how to install Windows Server 2012. Thank you for watching.